Well, hello, all of my students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay, and welcome to another English lesson here on the channel, where I have the opportunity to help you with your English comprehension, vocabulary, and your English fluency. And if this is your first time on the channel, I primarily do that through the reading of stories. And today I have an advanced English story that I'm going to read. So it's going to be quite fast. This is for some of my students that can speak English a little bit more fluently and they want maybe a little more of a challenge with some of my lessons. So every now and then I give an advanced lesson. If you want beginner and in intermediate, you can find those here on the channel as well. Now, be sure to hang around until the end. I will have some quiz questions. Uh, you can read along with today's story also as I have placed that down in the description of today's lesson. And be sure to check out some of my other uh, playlists down in the description as well. Uh, I have conversational playlists. I have other read and repeat uh, lessons, so many other lessons that can help you to improve your English. And as you can see, I am not in my home studio. I am actually in a hotel room. And so I hope you enjoy <laughs> the new little scenery behind me. Uh, if you can guess where I am, which you probably can't, let me know down in the description. I could be in Pakistan. I could be in Ireland. I could be somewhere in the U.S. What is your guess? But nevertheless, Let's get into today's story. I'm going to read fast. I'm not going to stop as much and review some of the vocabulary because this, again, is an advanced lesson. So let's read through at a slow pace and then I'll read through at a quicker pace with less stopping and interruption. Let's dive in and get ready for a little bit of learning and laughter. Irene decided to spend her Saturday afternoon shopping at the local mall. She was on a mission to find the perfect outfit for an upcoming party. Okay, let me say this. Notice she was on a mission. Okay, she was determined. She had a goal in mind that she wanted to reach. After several hours of browsing and trying on clothes, she finally found a stunning dress. Now, a stunning dress would be a beautiful dress, a gorgeous dress, something that made her look very attractive. OK, sometimes I tell my wife, hey, that's that the, that dress you have on looks nice. Or I could say it's very stunning. <laughs> and she's in the background listening, probably smirking. <laughs> Feeling accomplished, she headed to the parking lot, ready to go home and relax. However, Irene quickly realized she had no idea where she had parked her car. The parking lot was a maze of vehicles and every section looked the same. Have you ever got lost in the parking lot where you parked your car? You didn't realize where your car was and you were in the parking lot searching for it nomadically, not knowing <laughs> where you were going. And let me say this. This story was inspired by actually a subscriber who told me in the comments section that they got lost in a parking lot recently. <laughs> so I said, what a great idea. Let me make a story about that. She wandered 
up and down the rows, clicking her car remote in hopes of hearing a familiar beep. Unfortunately, the only sound she heard was the distant honking of other cars. So she was trying to use her car alarm (laughs) to find where her car was. And she didn't hear hers. She heard everyone else's. Oh, boy. And if it's hot or cold, that is such an irritating moment to be in. As minutes turned into hours or as minutes turned into an hour, Irene started to feel a bit panicked. She called her friend, (laughs) hoping for some advice. But all her friend did was laugh and suggest she retrace her steps. So to retrace your steps means to go back where you once were before. Okay, so you might say, I lost my keys. I had to retrace my steps to find them. Okay. Taking a deep breath, Irene tried to remember exactly where she had entered the mall. Just then, she noticed a security guard patrolling the area. So when a security guard is patrolling the area, they are going around the parking lots of the mall in a certain route. Okay. Now, my wife and I are actually on a getaway or a quick vacation. And I talked about this on my other channel, Parlay with Jay. And you can get a link to that down in the description. And just this week, I remember we were at the mall and I told my wife, as I thought about this story as well, I said, let's remember we came in through the south entrance so we don't get lost. (laughs) Swallowing her pride, she approached him and explained her predicament. A predicament is a situation or a problem. So you might say, we have a predicament at hand, or Irene had a funny predicament, you might say. The guard chuckled or laughed and offered to help her find the car. Now, when you swallow your pride, okay, you are basically admitting to yourself that you are wrong. (laughs) You swallow your pride and you do something that you really don't want to do, but it needs to be done. You swallow your pride. Together, they walked through the parking lot. The guard occasionally shining his flashlight under cars as if her vehicle might be hiding. After what felt like an eternity or forever, they finally spotted her car in a completely different section from where she had been looking. Irene thanked the guard profusely and got into her car, feeling both relieved and embarrassed. So when you do something profusely, it's something that you do continually or repetitiously. Okay, I profusely said, please let me go to the mall by myself, mom. Or my child profusely asked, could she go to the mall with her friends? Mom, please, 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 profusely. (laughs) As she drove away, she couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of the situation. Absurdity. So she felt absurd, like, wow, I really lost my car in the parking lot. This is so 
absurd. When she got home, she recounted the story to her family or told them about the story, who found it hilarious. From that day on, Irene made sure to always note the section and row where she parked. Now, that's a good habit. The experience taught her a valuable lesson about paying attention to details. Despite the ordeal or the problem or predicament, Irene still enjoyed her shopping trip and loved the dress she bought. In the end, she decided that getting lost in the parking lot was a small price to pay (laughs) for such a memorable day. You know, where I am, it's very hot. It was close to 90 degrees. Uh, I have some friends that are in Orlando right now, and they said it's over 100 degrees. This type temperature is not something you want to lose your car in. (laughs) It's very hot. Okay, so now let's read through the same story very fast, okay? I'm going to read through it at an advanced level, so let's make sure you can keep up with me and read along in the description. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Irene decided to spend her Saturday afternoon shopping at the local mall. She was on a mission to find the perfect outfit for an upcoming party. After several hours of browsing and trying on clothes, she finally found a stunning dress. Feeling accomplished, she headed to the parking lot, ready to go home and relax. However, Irene quickly realized she had no idea where she had parked her car. The parking lot was a maze of vehicles and every section looked the same. She wandered up and down the roads, clicking her remote in hopes of hearing a familiar beep. Unfortunately, the only sound she heard was the distant honking of other cars. As minutes turned into hours, Irene started to feel a bit panicked. She called her friend hoping for some advice, but all her friend did was laugh and suggest she retrace her steps. Taking a deep breath, Irene tried to remember exactly where she had entered the mall. Just then, she noticed a security guard patrolling the area. Swallowing her pride, she approached him and explained her predicament. The guard chuckled and offered to help her find the car. Together, they walked through the parking lot, the guard occasionally shining his flashlight under cars as if her vehicle might be hiding. After what felt like an eternity, they finally spotted her car in a completely different section from where she had been looking. Irene thanked the guard profusely and got into her car, feeling both relieved and embarrassed. As she drove away, she couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of the situation. When she got home, she recounted the story to her family, who found it hilarious. From that day on, Irene made sure to always note the section and row number where she parked. The experience taught her a valuable lesson about paying attention to details. Despite the ordeal, Arlene still enjoyed her shopping trip and loved the dress she bought. In the end, she decided that getting lost in the parking lot was a small price to pay for such a memorable day. (laughs) So were you able to keep up? (laughs) If you were not, let me know. Say no, Jay. That was too fast. (laughs) Okay, now here's a portion of today's lesson that I really, really enjoy. It's where we get to do some quiz questions. And I have about, mm, I can't remember, three, maybe four quiz questions. So let's get into today's quiz questions and let's see if you can get these correct. What did Irene learn from her experience of getting lost in the parking lot? Okay, now this one you may have to really think. What did she learn from her experience of getting lost in the parking lot? 
Number two, how did the security guard help Irene find her car? How did he help her? And number three, what was Irene's initial reaction when she realized she couldn't find her car? How did she react? OK, make sure you go down in the description or the comment section and answer each one of these questions. And let me ask you, have you ever got lost in a parking lot? <laughs> I think that would make a great conversation to talk about uh, on my other channel. Make sure you check that out. Parlay with Jay. The link is down in the description. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's advanced English lesson. We're learning English in a hotel, <laughs> in a hotel room, shall I say. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with me. And if you have enjoyed today's lesson, make sure you share it with a friend and be sure to listen again to help strengthen your uh, fluency and try to read along with me and be sure to read and answer those quiz questions down in the comment section. Okay, until next time, enjoy your day and I hope you join me on my next English lesson.